round two is going to be scored on our subject's uncanny ability to survive. First up, our current leader, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway definitely has a reputation. A lot of people think his reputation is that of a drunkard. Others, on the other hand, think that he's just a complete badass. Hemingway's driving philosophy was that he wanted to experience life to the fullest. He wanted to do every adventure, see every sight. Ernest Hemingway lived the life of 10 men. He lived the life of 100 men. His need to explore was probably the biggest badass thing that propelled him forward to become this legend that he was. In January 1954, Ernest Hemingway finds himself in Africa in search of his next big adventure. Hemingway first went to Africa as a younger man, and it was probably the best experience of his life, and he decided to go back as an older man. His experience wasn't so great. Hemingway and his wife decided to do some sightseeing, so they hired a plane, and they were flying pretty low to the ground, and the pilot saw some birds swerved into some power lines and crashed. Most people would never want to fly again after surviving a plane crash. Within a couple days, Hemingway gets on another plane, crashes again. The cabin is smoky, it's fiery. Hemingway is stuck inside. His wife has managed to get out, but he's trapped. So in true Hemingway fashion, inhaling smoke, headbutts the door. Surviving one plane crash is freaking phenomenal all by itself. But surviving two and using the butt of your head to get out of the plane, that's just crazy. I think a lot of the ways that we look at badasses is how they react to certain circumstances. When things are bad, they rise to the occasion. Ernest Hemingway said he treats death like a prostitute. He may have a drink with her, but he's not going to go upstairs with her.